Hey guys, what's going on? Tennessee Frank here. Um, bringing you another video. As you see, I'm back on Debian 10. Uh, I tried to install KDE in the uh, Ghost BSD XFCE install that I had on this machine, and it messed everything up. I mean, I followed instructions. Um, the only thing I'm thinking is there's some small differences between FreeBSD, which is what the instructions were for, and GhostBSD. Even though GhostBSD is supposed to be based on FreeBSD, um, I then tried to install GhostBSD with the uh, Mate desktop. After I did all the, the updates, uh, I tried to open in the software center, it crashed the desktop. Uh, tried to open the update center. It crashed the desktop again. So um, I went ahead and uh, just we went ahead and we're going to drop back and punt. And I put uh, Debian 10.3 with KDE back on my machine. Uh, what I have done, and uh, let me pull this up. I don't know how well you guys can see this. I went in and uh, used my little uh, little MX Linux. USB stick and uh, open G parted and I cut a, a little bit over a, a hundred gig here off of my hard drive which it's a, a 512 so I still got plenty of space for this Debian install um, but yeah I cut a hundred gig off there and just left it clear I didn't uh, format it any any specific way so uh, that's gonna be for uh, this BSD install, which this stick has Fury BSD on it, and uh, we can kind of see if we can take a look at it. And uh, let me see here, password. I don't think I need a password. Well, screen's locked. Um, let me see how we can get back in here. Let me try something. That ain't going to be it. That's not it. Um, I'll have to see here how we are going to do this. Let me go ahead and uh, control alt delete to get my mouse back. And uh, we'll go ahead. I'm going to I'm going to shut this down. So let me go ahead and Power off, don't show again, and uh, then we'll go ahead and start. And uh, I, I guess I've, uh, I guess I should have uh, turned off the, the screen saver on. Yeah, I normally I do that on all my installs, like right now, um, I, I turn the screen saver and stuff off. But we'll, we'll go ahead, we'll log back in. It may take a half a second. Um, but yeah, I did reinstall VirtualBox here. So we have VirtualBox. Um, one issue that I had on Fury in VirtualBox, and I'll show you when we get there, um, since this is going to reboot. And I don't think it's going to have changed states, so I'll have to go and, and change a few things around. Uh, one issue I had was screen resolution. Uh, with GhostBSD, it gave me the option of uh, installing the Intel DMR drivers for my Intel card. Uh, Fury didn't have that option. When you boot up, it just it gives you what you got. So uh, didn't have that option. So we will see. Uh, let's let this go ahead and and get it going. There we are. There's our KDE desktop which that is an option. Uh, I believe it comes with uh, XFCE as well. But yeah, there's our mouse pointer. And the mouse pointer is this crazy fast. That's something else I had to change. But uh, you can see out of the box, you get your, your standard application launcher, which yeah, I change, I don't like that. But we'll go ahead and launch this. I uh, want to go into display, 
and you can see 1024 768 that's all we're going to get right now with this um, i can go down here to input devices mouse advanced and it's uh 2.0 times i just i back that down to like uh say 0.9 apply and now my mouse is is more normal but uh, yeah th this is fury bsd you can go ahead and, and set it up use my application dashboard that i like so now i have this system settings of course you if you watched any of my videos how i set kde up i do like to go ahead and and uh use the icon view it just it makes a little bit more sense for me but uh let's see power management switch off no we don't want to do that and don't want to do that we'll apply so maybe that'll stop screen from switching off but yeah this, this is going to be fury bsd i'll go ahead and plug the usb stick in um, do the install to the uh, partition i've set up and we'll see how it goes we'll see if uh, after install i can get the right drivers to get everything configured if so uh, i'll go ahead and run it over on that partition I'm going to keep Debian on this partition. I just like Debian. It's good. It's stable. It works well. Um, I don't have any issues with it. Which, let's see what kind of... Yeah, it looks like just the usual suspects here for... Yeah, there's no, no special wallpaper or anything. I always thought that was kind of a nice one. Yeah, no, no special wallpaper. It's just basic KDE Plasma. So I just wanted to throw this video out there kind of quick to let you know where I'm at as far as uh, running BSD. I'm still going to give it a try. It's going to be on a separate partition, though. I'm not going to not going to uh, run it as a daily driver. Not right yet. Not till I learn a little more about it. So uh, anyhow, I'll go ahead and we'll get off here and uh, talk to you later. Like I always say. Either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. Guys, have an awesome rest of the day. Tennessee Frank out of here.